It's game number four for FC Dallas, and already their third match at home, and they have yet to taste victory here in 2011. They'll take on the defending MLS Cup champions, Colorado Rapids. And a pleasant good evening, everyone. Welcome to Pizza Hut Park here in Frisco, Texas, alongside Kyle Martino. I'm JP Della Camera. Dallas needs wins. They need goals. Can young Fabian Castillo get them both? The 4 5 1. You need to see if they can get this offense going, but the defense is the big question mark. Another change back for moving Breck Shea out to the left and Hugo Hayemelo going back in that center back position. Moving on to Colorado. Pablo Mascherini couldn't go. Fitness test. Has Nane going into the center of the park next to Lorenowitz and Jamie Smith so important to this side. Two goals already on the season. Likes to tuck into the middle of the park and Bolin and Cummings. We'll see what that partnership can do today. Big game tonight for FC Dallas because that West is so competitive. You don't want to start off your first four games without a win. And that's what will happen tonight if Colorado gets a win tonight against FC Dallas. Best start in Rapids history. Three wins. After three games, this is Nani, his first touch as a member of the Colorado Rapids. They have never led this season. Tied just once and over 250 scoreless minutes right now against FC Dallas. Ferreira played it up. Quick ball from Rodriguez. Breck Shea. The cross didn't have too much on it. Pickens makes the easy play. Pickens couldn't catch it. All he could do is carry it away and hope it didn't drop to a... FC Dallas attack. That's more like the David Ferreira, though, that we know. And he builds in confidence. When he gets shots, when he gets crosses, when he beats men, like any creative player, you start to build, you start to heat up. Ferreira leads it. Pickens thought about coming out. The cross cut back. Save Pickens again. Another one is blocked. It was Jacobson who had the shot. The doors against Colorado. Jeff Lorenowitz with the New England Revolution went to three MLS Cup, Cup finals and lost them all. He said last night, happy he finally, finally got his ring. Here's Castillo. Shooting in. Punched away by Pickens. Well, we're seeing more out of Castillo in his first half than we probably saw in the last game against Columbus when he played better than 70 minutes. And when David Ferreira picks up the ball, you have to make a run. That's what Castillo does. Makes a cutting run. Davi Ferreira puts it right on a dime for him. What a strike. And Castillo, he likes his left foot, but can cut it on the right. He's proven it now. David Ferrer is ready. Right to the middle. And that's cleared away. Jacobson went up high for that, but Drew Morgan a piece still. Quick shot taken away heavily. Dallas Slates. from Ferreira and you can see Pickens has to stay in his line because the ball swerved in the right spot. When loses his mark as it comes back, he was pushing out already and he's the one that leaves Ugo Yemelo by himself and Ugo catches it off the half volley off the post and goes in. Great start from FC Dallas but they do have a player down right now. Castillo. Nice ball in. Ferreira! Two nothing Dallas! David Ferreira! Well, JP, we talked in the open about Castillo stepping up, Castillo becoming the player to create, and when David Pereira can make runs forward like this, and you can't expect where he's going to pop up, that's when he's dangerous. A beautiful pass, first touch right in front of him, and how cheeky is that? Fakes the left-footed shot, little chip over Pickens, and he had a player wide open in the middle, Rodriguez, that he could have played in, decides to go his own way, and that's why he's MVP. In the final third, he is lethal. Second half underway. Can FC Dallas get their first win of the season? Against the defending MLS Cup champs, Colorado. Colorado obviously have to do things differently here to come back in this match. They made one change. Brian Mullen has come on for Sana Nyasi. Here's Avila. He's in the box. Played it across and another goal. Javi Burr. Well, 
and running off the ball, amazing. But how about Daniel Hernandez here? Ball played in, Avalon continues his run, but beautiful one-touch pass, and he actually took a touch, and I thought he might have lost the opportunity, but he rifles this ball across to Daniel Hernandez, or to, to uh, Tommy Ferreira, but look at, the ball had to be perfect after he took that first touch, he closed the space down, and it looks like we've got a new father yeah, done somebody, that celebration Somebody twice. had a baby, pass the fire, and then rock in the cradle. I think this is a test. Wait until they see Real Salt Lake right now. Coming off the confidence of last game at Saprissa. Didn't win it, but performed well. And how well they've come out of the gates, it's going to get harder for them. Here's Omar Cummings. Full in with a shot that's low and wide of Hartman. But that's the first time Fulham's really had an open look. That's the first time anyone's had an open look. Been a good night for Jacobson at FC Dallas. Davi Ferreira, look at that ball, Castillo, and he went towards the near post, and that went out of play, but from out of nowhere, Davi Ferreira springs Castillo. Well, these diagonal passes on the blind side of defense, you can see Wallace thinks the ball is going wide, Castillo just runs through, first touch lets him down a little bit, but look at this ball, those diagonal balls in behind the blind spot of the outside backs have been so dangerous for FC Dallas, but the running off the ball from the outside players have been fantastic. Tyrone Marshall, 74th minute. Off Breck Shea, that's one he didn't win. Cross from Mullen, a very ball. Maybe their best chance all night, he missed. Well, finally they get Brian Mullen isolated one-on-one. -on -one. Very shifty, does well to get Breck Shea to fly right by. Hits this, and watching Mirkwa adjust himself, and. Maybe you try the, the side volley that might still take it. It's very difficult to backpedal and get enough pace on that header to test Kevin Hartman from there and ended up glancing off his forehead, didn't get good contact on it. Two goals tonight for that man, David Ferreira. On this corner for Dallas. Pickens came out, got two fists on it, but it's going back to David Ferreira. Works it against Lorenowitz. The cross switch down right at Pickens. How did Ferreira spot him though? Pickens goes all the way upfield. Trying to find Cummings. Bit of a push off there. And a card is going over Omar Cummings, and that's probably nothing more kind of a frustration. And again, Paul Ward is looking to watch. This has got to be it. That is it. FC Dallas is a convincing winner tonight at home.